All right, guys, good old boy 32 here checking out. So, uh, yeah, man, what are we looking at here? Yeah, some hearing protection. Okay, so when I first started getting into shooting, you know, you had your regular old earmuffs. I mean, my gosh, man, check this out. Hold on. Look at these. These are a set of the old Peltor 3M Techs. Now, I actually do have a pair of the old Sordon earmuffs around here, and I think I probably ended up throwing them away. I'm not sure what the hell I did with them. But in any case, what we're looking at is the Evolution. This was a set of the Sport Impacts. And the reason I'm showing you all this is I'm trying to show you, tell you the story. Uh, these guys have been around for well, a while. I don't know. I did a video on it where... I actually uh, sprayed painted these things and just had some fun with my kids. This this is a headband that you can find on Amazon. And hold on. And yes, they still work like a charm. I did add the noise fighters, the gel cups in here, which turn these things. Guys, if you don't want to spend three or four hundred dollars or three hundred dollars on a set of hearing protection and you had a sport impacts, I can't tell you how much this the sport the uh, noise fighters will help i'll put a link down below for those guys amazon i think they're 49 dollars, but it turns these uh 40 heads phones into a, a a real contender for just about anything out there but anyway i wore these for a long time but i didn't have the gel fighters i had them with just regular cups so i uh i finally broke down because if you're shooting a lot and i mean two to three times a week the one thing you have is your hearing, and you don't want to lose it. Tonight, this is a horrible thing, and I've got it. Uh, but uh, I did, and later on, I invested in these things. This is an MSA Supreme Pro X. And uh, what happened is, is MSA the company, basically, they bought the uh, Sword and Brand, and they started marketing these. So what happened was, is MSA finally decided they were going to back out of this thing, and they essentially uh, sold the Sword and Brand back to itself. And if I'm wrong about that, guys, uh, please let me know. But the cool thing is, is they're located in Sweden, and my wife is from Sweden. With that being said, I, I did a couple of reviews on these things, and you may have noticed that if you look back about six months ago, maybe not six months ago, I started wearing these guys right here. Now, a company called uh, Talking Headset, they're Europe's largest distributor of hearing protection, they decided to go ahead and start distributing the Sordon brand, except with a couple upgrades. And that's what I want to do is I want to talk to you about the upgrades between here and there. Now, let me just preface this, guys. These are these are not cheap. These right here, I think I bought for like $269, something like that on Amazon. These right here what the upgrades are and right now they're on uh you use the five percent discount code of kb uh five code of boy 32 code of, code of boy five i believe it is i'll put the discount code below and you get five percent discount during the month of october anyway talking headsets europe's largest distributor of hearing protection they basically updated the model and, and this is for some serious shooters now what is the difference actually I, uh, these are brand new gel cups I put in this thing because when once they get old and decrepit and nasty, they really have a problem with securing it. But uh, essentially, there's a couple differences. One is the tone when you turn them on. There is, let me see if I can do this. There's a, hold on one second, I'm going to put it up to this microphone. And... I think there's four level of, of, of four levels of brightness. There I am with the. Uh, okay, so you can hear. I'll turn these off, and I'm gonna turn them on and high. You've got more clicks in it. I was really impressed with that because it's a it's a more definitive sound. Also, uh, but basically it's the same the same cup here. You can see pretty much the same, uh, other than the switch. And, and we'll go over some of the features here, but the differences as well as you have a tethered battery cap right here, as well as a plug for your jack right here. Now that's gonna come to play here in a few minutes. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So anyway, what we have here uh, are some really cool things. These pretty much represent the, 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 the high-speed low drag, and there I said it again, of the earmuff world. 
everybody. <laughs> so what do we got here? Let me talk about some of the added features. All right, so again, we'll talk about, we got a tethered battery cap, uh, the new battery safe feature. Uh, you got AAA batteries. And one of the things I did have a problem with was the batteries kept, they will jar loose inside of this thing. They have yet to jar loose. All right, so the big thing is, is I've used these for about three months and I've never had the batteries jar loose. Now this thing comes with a new features that uh, has an automatic shut off after four hours, which gives the batteries a lifespan of 600 hours. Okay, so they'll automatically turn off after four hours, which is really cool. Okay, so they have this thing also called Application Specific Integrated Circuit and Microprocessor. The SWATCOM Activate combines low current audio signals with high performance cutoff that instantly compresses the external sound impulses at a safe 82 decibels level while reducing them to 18 decibel level at the ear. Okay, what does that mean? Well, they're, they're really good. <laughs> I, uh, I've actually, I, as far as the, uh, keeping the sound out when they're not turned on, uh, there's not a whole lot of difference. However, when you do have them turned on there, hold on one second. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> we'll just do this like this. Hold on. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, so your audio features in this thing are a lot better. Now, I, on part two, I am trying to work on a, a way of testing these so that you can hear for yourself the actual differences between, say, something like the Sport Impact. Uh, we've actually got a set of Caldwells over there, the old Sordans, the new Sordans. So that ASIC is a pretty cool deal. Ah, while we're at it, Let's go ahead and do the unboxing of a brand new set because this is the test set. This is the new set. So the new set is going to come just like this in this handsome box. If I can get this off of here. And as we continue to going with the 95 degree temperatures in my shop, we're going to get crazy. Okay, so what, we'll talk about some of the features. Let's do that on here. All right, waterproof sealed electronics, microphones, and battery compartments submersible up to one meter for 30 minutes. Twin audio speakers in each cup. Sound level is limited to 82 decibels. The ASIC digital 600 uh, hours of battery life. Lanyard attached, ear gels, and waterproof cover for auxiliary input. Guys, these things are awesome. And they also come in green, black, sand, and multicam. That's really cool. This one itself has the multicam headband on it. You can see it's very similar to what I have on the old MSA Swordens. I may, uh, no, nah, because they're not big enough, but uh, you can get them with either one, with the headband or with the leather band right here. And this is the internal features. I want to show this to you because this is what matters. I work in a world where redundancy means everything, N plus one. Uh, always have to have a backup. Always have a backup, a backup plan for anything. So the original MSA Swords, and to pop these off, it's pretty simple. Ugh. I don't think these guys are on here. I'm chirping. I call that the military arms channel chirp. He hated that. So if you look at the internals on this side, this is the battery side compartment. You can see where the battery is right there. I'm going to make sure I don't mix these up. I'll put that right there. So that's the internal to the old boys. Now, let's go ahead and open up the internals to the new guys. And I love this material right here. As you can see, there's one speaker in the old, two speakers in the new, which gives you, from what they say, a better 360 degree definition of what's going on around you for the sound, per the sound. Also, if you lose a speaker, they operate independently from one another you will always have communications through these things. So with that being said, uh, you can see the battery compartment there. It's completely sealed off as where this battery compartment, hold on, not the battery compartment, but this compartment right here, you can see is not. So what I'm trying to do is show you what the differences are between these two units. And I think I'm doing a pretty good job with them. Let's take a look and putting these back on. In order to put these on, you just put that foam back in there. We're gonna place these gel cups right back in place and they will snap in place just like that. Boom, well, there. Let's make sure we get those on tight because 
guess what? Well, maybe not on this set, but we're going to do it on the test set for sure. You can see where those pop in. Also in the box, you get a nice carry bag, which I tell you what, that is actually convenient, as well as a set of batteries and your communications wire right there. So there you go. I guess you could hook these up to your phone and listen to uh, music or whatever, or com communications. Let's go ahead and put this guy back together while we got it. Okay, so that's put together. But with that processor board not being sealed, well, guess what's going to happen? They are not waterproof. And what we're going to do real quickly is I want to bring this guy on board right here. Now, this was one of the reasons why I said send me a test sample because we're going to give it a test. Um, let's go ahead and make sure you can hear that. Okay. Hold on. All right, see? You can hear them. All right, well, make sure all my plugs are in place. Weather stripping seals are in the battery. And there they go. And uh, let's just let them get full of water right there. boy let's do it again let's make sure we get water in our microphones water in the speakers and one meter for one 30 minutes what is that ipx6 no ipx7 ip7 there they are Okay, let's put them on. All right, guys. Go to Boy 32. <laughs> let's see. <sighs> Blow the speakers out. All right. Well, there you go. They still work. I wouldn't want to do that with the Sport Impacts, nor would I want to do that with the old guys. So with that being said, man, I am really impressed. This is part one. Uh, like I said, part two, we're going to go ahead and take and put uh, microphones in each ear cup and hook that up to a recorder so that you can hear exactly what they sound like. All right, guys, go to Boy32. If you like that video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. If you're serious about hearing protection, if you do a lot of shooting, guys, I can only advise that you go ahead and get this. Good friend of mine, uh, John Paps. The uh, Goofy Greek Shooter, I think it is, on Instagram. He's the one who got me in on these things. So that's it. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom's not free. The only thing I wish, wish they would do is they would make the directionals on those batteries bigger so we could tell what the hell's going on. So with that being said, I'll see you all later. Be good.